Hello guys, and today I'll be talking about 10 true pipe appearances and I'll be me making a tier list out of them. So first to start off, we are going to start with King's 3 true pipe appearances and we have Black Ears Warrior, Harren Hall Deserter and Night's Watch. Uh, first of all, I'm gonna start with the Black Ears Warrior. Uh, this one is a free to play one and you can get it from KVK. So I would recommend not investing your tokens in this one and grinding it out and upgrading it from KVK. It's a nice skin, it gives you 6% Sim 3 attack, 12% uh, Sim 3 health, and 9% Sim 3 defense alongside with 8% total attack in rallies and 10% training speed. So I would put this skin at average because it's like it is give it gives more uh it gives less in three stats than other in three skins. So then I would go with Harren Hall Deserter. For me this is the best uh in three uh, skin troop type and uh yeah, it gives 21% in 3 attack, 24% in 3 health, and 12% in 3 defense al alongside with uh, 20k rally size like every other S tier true type appearance. Uh, so this skin is really nice, gives lots of attack, lots of health, and that's imp uh, important for in 3 that health, and that's why I think this is the best in 3 S tier uh, appearance so the last one for inf3 is night's watch a night's watch is the la latest inf3 appearance that came out and it gives you 21 percent inf3 attack 9 percent inf3 health and 12 percent inf3 defense alongside with total health in rallies six percent and of course rally size like every other s tier appearance so the difference between this skin and the Harren Hall deserter is that this skin gives 15% less in 3 health but gives total health in rallies so for me personally like in player uh, it's more important that you get that in health in your solos and everything I don't care that much about uh, total health in rallies, it's useful, of course, that's why I have it on gold, but I would prefer the other skin. Still, I think this skin is better because it gives more combat stat, more combat stats than Black Earl skin that we talked about. So now, we are going to go to the cab skins. We have uh, two different cab skins, and those are Stormsland Horseman and Desert Horseman. First of all, I'm gonna start with Stormsland Lance Horseman. This one is probably the best skin in the game because it gives the alongside with the gold cloak, it gives the most stats in the game, and that's 72 uh, calorie stats. It gives 33% calorie attack, 12% calorie health, and 27% calorie defense. That 33% calorie attack is huge. And it's even more huge that you can get it by maxing it out on purple. You don't even have to get it on gold to have that 33% calorie attack boost. That is insane buff, and I think this is the best skin out of any other compared if you're if you're Cav main and you get this, it will be more more influential to you than getting a Harren Hall Deserter for Inf main. Of course, if you're Cav, if you're Inf main, then you're gonna first get the Inf skins. Like, that should be your priority. So the next uh, Cav skin is Desert Horseman. Desert Horseman is the latest Cav skin that came out, and it gives you 21% calorie attack, 9% calorie health, and 12% calorie def defense, alongside with 6% total health in rallies. So when you compare it to Stormlands Horseman, I'll put the comparison on the screen. You lose 12% calorie attack, you lose 3% calorie health, and 15% calorie defense. 
you only gain 6% uh, total head tier rallies. If you ask me, that is too much losses for same tier, and for sure this one is uh, the biggest loss of the stats I have seen in these skins. So I, I would put it uh, just a little above the Black Earls, uh, only because Black Earls have training speed that that's not a combat stat that you gain. So uh, now we are gonna start with uh, with uh, spears and spears. Like I said, uh, gold cloak is uh, it's a really similar similar to the Stormsland cavalry because they came out at the same time. I will show stats on the screen. So gold gold cloak gives twelve percent. Uh, spearman attack, 33% spearman health, and 27% spearman defense. And as you can see, only difference, and why I think the cav uh, troop appearance is better than this one, is because at cavalry you have 33% uh, bonus to attack, but to spears, the gold, gold cloak, you have 33% bonus to the health. So uh, defense is the same. You have 27% uh, boost to calorie defense and 27% to uh, boost to spearman defense. But only difference is that in attack in in hell that numbers are just switched, and that's why I think the cav troop appearance is better than the gold cloak. Otherwise, gold cloak is surely better. Coming in behind the gold cloak is. Uh, City Watch of Old Town, and uh, that is a skin that came out uh, with uh, with the Desert Horseman. And again, I'll show the comparison on the screen. They have exactly same stats. So, uh, uh, so the City Watch of the Old Town has a twenty one percent of the Spearman attack, nine percent Spearman health, and twelve percent Spearman defense, alongside with total health in rallies. 6%. So, same reasons, like I said, like for calves, it applies to the spears. I think this skin is just a way less useful if you're spear main than a gold cloak because you lose too much spear. I mean, you gain uh, more attack from this one, but still uh, health is important and difference on 24% uh, of health is really huge. So I think the gold cloak should be your priority, or at least, at least you should uh, you should get attack on the gold cloak and then go out the one if you if you wanna take the health later that 24% health. And the last one that I'll be covering and uh, currently the last one S uh, S tier appearance is House Street Bowman. And for me personally, how street bowman is the bowman is the worst because I really don't use the bows. Only go a good side from it is that total health, and that total health applies in Siege of Winterfell, Ultimate Tournament, uh, solo attacks when you're getting soloed. It doesn't you don't have to be in rally, and that's a big plus. Alongside with that, eight percent total health, you get twenty-seven percent bowman attack and ten percent fortifications attack bonus. So basically, I don't think this is a for other unless you're maxed out like me because you had a S troop type uh, medals uh, and you want to get that rally size. I don't think this one is the best unless you're a bow main. If you're a bow main, then uh, your tier list looks like this or similar to that. It depends who has a, a totals in the rallies and stuff like that. But if you're bow main, surely this is the best skin for you, and sh you should get this one. This applies to like this applies to everything I said. If you're calf main, you go for the calf ones. If you're inf main, you go to the inf ones, and stuff like that. So there's no need uh, for you to get the calf one first if you're a bow main or if you're spear main. Pretty, mu pretty much it. If you plan to be a rally leader in the alliance, the best thing you can do is get all on gold. And then you have uh, 160k more rally size plus totals you will get from them. And the rally size, little by little, combined with SS and A troop type, 
appearances really help you out and uh, it will boost your rally size significantly. So uh, again, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully you will enjoy it and have a good day.